Hi, this is Griffin Connor with First Updates Now, coming to you from the Chesapeake District Championships at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. Today I am here with 1731, Fresta Valley Robotics, and today they're here to talk about their robot and the inspiration behind it, their current uh, mechanisms on it, and how their match strategy has currently taken them to a win and a, and a finalist so far in the district. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first-paced camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsored camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. So let's look at your robot here. So tell me about this uh, special arm that you have. Where was the inspiration and whatnot? Well, we got the inspiration from 971's 2018 robot. Um, the carbon fiber is extremely lightweight and strong. It is about um, half, the weight, uh, half the weight of aluminum and four times as strong. And um, yeah, we have a custom-made gearbox that controls the arm with gear ratio of 90 to 1. Each arm is independently uh, moving. So in order to control the arm movements, we pre-programmed it by almost physically training the robot. So manually moving the arm to record uh, specific points that we want to later repeat. Um, that's a demonstration of how the intake works. And, uh, oh yeah, I'll just move back a little bit for the uh, intake. Um, yeah, the lights on the robot are able to communicate with the driver what's going on, the pieces, uh, if, it's in, if it's picking up, um, if it's already in the possession of the robot, and uh, if something is wrong with the arm. All right. And you guys have this really interesting intake and wrist system right here. So what all was the idea and strategy behind that and making that? Yeah, so um, we started um, with a very different design in the beginning of the year. We were going to use McCannon wheels um, to drop the cone straight down, but that didn't really work out. So this is actually our fifth iteration of our intake. Um, it works by having a Neo 550, which is driven uh, drives our rollers. It spins one way to intake cones with a normal roller and you know, these two inch wheels. And then uh, we have another pulley that goes up to here, which uh, allows us to spin this roller, which we use to intake cones. Uh, here we can test that. And so it just uh, spins it in, and it'll intake the cone, uh, squeezes it really tight, and then we can uh, shoot it out. Uh, another iter uh, thing about our iterations that we've done for the hand is originally it was angled, but we angled it flat so that way when we have our hand down on the ground, uh, we could do pick up a cone off the floor if it's tipped. It was one of our uh, main things we wanted to accomplish. The wrist of the arm rotates on a Neo 550 in the back so we can uh, have full range of motion of our uh, hand. And uh, yeah. It clips up here with a magnet actually, so in our auto phases, we can start with the arm all the way back here, and uh, we can shave about a second off of our autos we found, so we can uh, get three pieces in auto. All right, and so you guys also currently have not only a finalist appearance under your belt, but also a, a blue banner from this year. So. What all was your strategy behind that? And what did you guys think about going into alliance selection and the elimination process? All right, so first I would just say that we're, we kind of focus on cones mainly and we're a really fast bot. So for like alliance selection for our second competition in Bethesda, we mainly wanted to pick a cube robot so that we could try to fill up the top fast with just cones and then they would do cubes. And uh, we wanted to, try to do like most of the grid from that um and then for this recent match that we got 184 184 i believe it was um yeah what we did we had great alliance partners really we started off with just filling our area of the grid so we did three high three mid and then three low and then we kind of helped our alliance partners who might not have been quite as fast as us by filling up the low low uh, nodes so that's that's kind of how we got it and then uh we I, it kind of just it kind of just came to us you know like we we weren't quite expecting to do quite that awesome i will say but yeah that was a lot of fun with um getting the the high score here so that was yeah all right well on behalf of further updates now thank you guys so much for taking your time out of the day and i really really hope to see you guys do extremely well in the coming days 
This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsor camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.